My name is Pauline Silverman. I'm a Senior Water Resource Specialist with the Scottish Environment Protection Agency. The River Gary is part of the River Tay catchment up in Perthshire, just south of the Dromochter Pass. It's been heavily impacted since the 1950s. It's part of SSE's Tumul Gary Hydro Scheme. When the Gary was impounded in the 1950s, it was used to augment the Tumul Gary Hydropower Scheme, which is one of SSE's largest hydropower schemes in Scotland. Water is taken from behind the Gary intake weir and it's piped into Loch Erichty and used to generate renewable energy. SEPA is undertaking this work to make improvements as part of the Water Framework Directive. We have a responsibility to make improvements to impacted parts of the water environment. We have this set out in Scotland River Basin Management Plan and operators who have historically impacted rivers and other parts of the water environment have contributed to this and committed to measures to make improvements. In December this year the strewn weir was removed and migratory fish had access once again to the river and in September this year SSE released the flow in accordance with their variation to their car licence which saw water once again in the river and since then we have actually seen many migratory fish ascending into the river. So I'm really chuffed to have been part of this process. It's been, it's an amazing thing to say that you have something tangible to say that you've made a difference, your day-to-day -day work has actually made a difference and this is one of the single biggest improvements I think we'll see in Scotland's water environment. It's just the start of a process working in partnership with Scottish and Southern Energy and the Tay Fishery Board. We've developed an adaptive management plan, we will be monitoring and, and it's an ongoing process to ensure that these benefits will be optimised and achieved and this is the good part.